What's up everyone, it's your friendly neighborhood French Canadian and I want to just go over the patch notes quickly, I thought it'd be a cool video and there's just some things that got me really excited, I know they're small but it was something that was really really bothering me. So the biggest one in my opinion is the fact that your bell bearings do not reset when you start a new game plus which is freaking awesome. Like it was so annoying just starting a new game plus, wanting to change build, wanting to change weapons and you have to go through all the mines, get the bell bearings again, farm for these stupid smithing stones, I just could not. I am so tired of that crap because I'm on PC I've been using like other people's 100% save files which is way easier because they have like 999 of everything right? But if you're on console and you can't do that, it is so freaking annoying to continue a new game plus. Now the only thing you need to focus on, go through the bosses, get the armor and the weapons you might not have gotten, and you don't need to go through all the things over and over again. Like they really took out a massive massive amount of grinding because usually when people play new game plus they have a bigger challenge uh, against bosses you know because they have a bigger health pool and all of that but just knowing you have to regrind all that crap that wasn't even fun to grind to begin with I think that is freaking awesome. So good job from Soft for that. Congratulations. So on the third bullet point it says added emphasis to the choice of the sacred flask and several other options that can be strengthened in the grace menu. I'm guessing here it'll tell you how many times you can upgrade the flask and upgrade how much uh, health or FP the flask will give you back. So uh, instead of just maybe maybe why don't we just go look instead right? This update is taking forever! I'm gonna roll some waifus while I wait for this update to install. It says 64% yes it's going really slow. Let's look at what that um, emphasis on flask or whatever is. Is it because I'm maxed out? Cause I don't understand. So I probably can't see it because I'm maxed out. So I'll do a quick YouTube search and see uh, what people were saying about it. <laughs> upgrade and it only marks what is so Honestly. I don't know about this man, it looks like they just went on paint and you know that circle that's kind of um, that's kind of faded around the side, they just went like boop and there you go, patch 1.05. So thank you very much Rage Gaming videos, weird, like it's a really weird update. Why couldn't they just put a number of times you can actually upgrade the item so it seems like it's out of 12 right? So they could have written like how many you have out of 12 and how many more seeds you need to be able to upgrade it. Like I personally think that would have been a way better change than just a photoshop dot but whatever it is what it is. Now the last bullet point of the major changes it says that it added sound effects when other players summon signs appear which alright I mean I don't really know why that's important but okay. After that there's just a ton of bug fixes and one of the most notable ones I want to point out especially for speedrunners over here fix a bug in some maps that allow players to reach unexpected locations with certain procedures. So all the wrong ports seem to maybe have been fixed. I mean every time some wrong ports are fixed it seems that people find more wrong ports so I don't know man. But I'm willing to bet that they fixed the wrong port to the capital now. Not the way you can go there and just jump off the elevator and drink and then swing and then you somehow make it to the bottom and don't die but like the actual wrong port. I love how they word this stuff sometimes. Fix the bug that caused the player to become inoperable as if they're like a machine or whatever and die in certain locations. <laughs> Improved loading times for the Xbox Series X and S version. Who cares? Like, who has an Xbox Series X, bro? Oh, this is good though. Fix a bug in which guard boost was reduced when some weapons were strengthened to the maximum. That's interesting. Oh, well, people are gonna stop using the pulley crossbow now. Fix a bug when using the pulley crossbow with the left hand while the right hand weapon was given an attribute by a magic or item, the effect was also given to the pulley crossbow. Like why do that and then not buff bows in general? It's so weird, <laughs> like they didn't do any balance changes at all which is weird. I think a lot of people are disappointed in that because they really wanted the PvP meta to change, you know, especially change away from uh, the Rivers of Blood bullcrap and the bleed build stuff. So what I'm seeing is just people really disappointed that that is the update we got. I think some of the changes are really good though, but yeah, we needed some balance changes, definitely. Even just for PvE, like at least make bows good or usable, you know? Maybe like those bug fixes are 
pretty good. Like this one, fix a bug that the light wave of the Moonlight Greatsword skill sometimes does not, does not aim at the locked on target. Which honestly, a lot of the skills do that. Like if you're locked on with to, to a target where it's like a horizontal slash type of thing, especially if you're like on an incline and the enemy is on a decline, then it will definitely not hit the enemy. Sometimes it'll go right over their heads. So I hope that's what they mean because that would be good. Fix the bug where some actions of the Barbaric Roar, War Cry, and Trolls Roar recovery time was longer than expected. Listen, who cares? Ain't no one using those anyways. Fix the bug that prevented the found sites of grace from registering on the map under certain circumstances. That's pretty cool because some of them are really annoying. I remember when I fought the Misbegotten in the Weeping Peninsula, I couldn't get that freaking side of Grace at all. It was so annoying, I had to run back all the way to the other side of Grace. And I know I know first world problems, but it is a small quality of life change. Overall, this patch was really small. I, I don't think it fixed a lot of the issues that people have, or a lot of the things that people want to be fixed. I mean, the bug fixes are pretty great. And now starting a new game plus is way less annoying. But there's just a lot that has gone unaddressed, especially when it comes to uh, buffs and nerfs for certain weapons or weapon types or damage types. So hopefully that will get addressed, but a part of me thinks that we'll only get that either when they announce DLC or when it's coming out, and then there will be like a patch or something, or when the DLC is released, then there will be another patch. I don't know, that's just my thoughts, but let me know your thoughts and what changes you would like to see in the future, especially when it comes to balance changes. If, if you do a lot of PvP, uh, I know I don't, but there's still some balance changes I'd like to see for, for PvE just to change stuff around, you know, just to break the monotony of things, I guess. So that's all I have to say about that. If you want more Elden Ring videos, there are plenty on my channel. Uh, there's a lot of builds that I made. There's a Fire and Madness build that I posted yesterday that's based on the character Kano from Mortal Kombat. So if you haven't watched that, what are you waiting for? But other than that, guys, have yourself a wonderful day and I'll see you all very soon.